Well, welcome everybody to the almost complete Citizens Bank, and, and we want to uh, thank you all for doing this a couple different times over the past uh, year, year and a half. And it seems like to me that that time has gone really, really fast and really, really slow all at the same time. But we are excited that we're one week away from uh, our employees moving into the building on the 18th, the night of the 18th, and then we'll be very busy people that weekend and on Martin Luther King holiday. And then that Tuesday, the 22nd, we'll be open for business. And so please come here. Don't go to our downtown branch anymore uh, because that will be an operations center. And this will be where we, we bank at. And we'll enjoy hosting you here and we'll probably do some special first day stuff for everybody. Let me show you around, if that's okay. We've got a good group to show around. And we always start in the Citizens Bank coffee shop. And so we have um, a coffee shop here that we hope people can use. And let me say that we have wired into this building uh, fiber optic high-speed internet. And so people can come here and get online. Uh, it's free Wi-Fi for anyone. Come join us for coffee, sit here, read the news, look at Facebook, uh, enjoy, enjoy life. We're going to have free coffee. We're going to have Pinto coffee and Morningside coffee. And they're going to provide, provide that for us. We also have a booth back here, if you like sitting uh, in, a, in a booth. And when the weather's nice, we'll have some, uh, some tables outside that people can enjoy. We, we like our wood coffee bar, and uh, that is a little bit unique. I will tell you a secret. Right up here, we have a, a plug-in. And that plug-in is reserved for a clock out of the original Citizens Bank building from 1953. And we haven't plugged it in yet because we want to make sure it's here when we open for business. And an old clock like that, everybody wants. So it's ready to go. It actually works. And so that'll be a little nostalgia uh, for the building. Of course, the building is a new, new design. We asked our architect to go out to... Uh, Seattle, Washington, and look at a bank out there called Umqua Bank, which is noted for being a non-traditional bank. And we, we uh, used some of their ideas to draw this building, or architect did, so this is kind of a West Coast building design. We wanted to do something really special for Batesville that looked nice, that was a little bit different. Uh, and when you, when you say different, you can look out here, and I, I think this is very different. This is our entrance, and you can see our CB logo on the floor in marble and then our, our doors that open up on the side and then the big monumental staircase. And the part I like, I think the best out of the bank is the wood ceiling way up there on top. That's pretty cool. Um, of course, the, 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 the main bank style is to have all the steel beams out in the open and to have the ceiling opened up so you can see all the conduit and all the, everything that's up there. The, uh, HVAC uh, system up there. And right here in the main lobby area, we have what they call the wave uh, style wood that separates the, the ceiling from us. And then uh, marble floors, and you can see the big, big nice teller area. These, this wall here that you're looking at right now will have local artists uh, hang their art, and they'll actually be able to uh, use this to maybe potentially sell some art, and we'll rotate what they do. We want to support local local uh, creative talent like that. And there's actually two walls, so there's, there's gonna be a lot of interesting artwork hanging there. And uh, people can look at that while they drink their, their free coffee. Let's walk back this way. This is the retail, the, this is the second floor of the bank, and it's the main retail floor. This is a customer service area, so if you have any questions about your account or wanna do anything, you can walk right in the front door and, and take care of it here. You don't have to wander around, you know, through a labyrinth of corridors and things. So you just take care of it right here. These folks will be empowered to do anything that needs to be done. And the, the glass that you see right here is going to be frosted, so you're not going to be able to see through it. And so all that stuff, the metal you see right now, you won't see anymore, but you'll see the light. It'll kind of glow a little bit. Um, This is our retail area, so the new accounts, if you want to open an account or talk to somebody about your account, you can do this here. Uh, we have our, our cool little wedding pods, our, what we call these the George Jetson wedding pods, 
and they actually are uh, powered up so you can sit there and charge your iPad or your phone or whatever you have while you wait. The offices over here on, on this wall are the consumer lenders. So if you want to borrow money for a car or a boat or a uh, tractor or anything, you can just go right there. Of course, all the offices have windows. We didn't want to have, we wanted it to be an open, an open uh, facility. And you can see the big window out here in the cloud uh, ceilings that we have here it just kind of makes it, um, you don't feel closed in. This is our third floor. And this is the commercial lending floor and the trust department floor. And you can see the stylish uh, little wedding area here, another big bank of TV sets, and then a wonderful view looking out at Batesville. Uh, Micah Beard's office is right here. He's got a great corner office. Micah is our North Central Arkansas market president standing right there. Y'all need to get him on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And Shauna Snyder is his assistant, so she'll be right in here. And then Micah has a conference room, private conference room, that is actually going to be enabled for teleconferencing. So we can go look at his fancy teleconferencing system. These are the smart guys that turn all this on. Jay Stanley, Citizens Bank. So thank you guys, Johnny. Johnny Babb, smartest guy in Batesville. I, I promise you. He's also got a sore back because of all that he's doing. Um, but this is the video conferencing system. You can see the little um, cameras that are on there. And so with this system, we can talk to and see people in any of our 20 bank branches across Arkansas from, you know, from Crossit to Monticello to Rogers to Hot Springs to Fayetteville to Imboden to here. So we'll all right, so we'll walk down this way a little bit. And this is the commercial lending area with all the commercial loan officers and their assistants. So I've got to do this. I've got to show you my bathrooms. I love my bathrooms. Low. Low. Okay, no one in here. Yeah, this is the kind of the trough style sink, which I like. And I also like the, the, uh, pattern of tile that they've done and, and what let me say and you guys don't know this but the lady uh, of course Elaine Hunter has been heavily involved in all this and then she also worked with a lady in Little Rock named Robert Halbert Perry uh, that was her name at the beginning of this but about two or three months into into the project she changed her name to Robin Rogers because she married Raj Rogers son and so there's a there's a strong connection out of Citizens Bank with her so we're excited about that. So. And you can see it's a real nice open area. The, the furniture for this will all be delivered next week. Um, the chairs and there's a tall cabinet thing over here and they will have a TV to look at. And, and please also notice our, our Batesville um, Pioneers orange on the walls. We've done, we've done that several places. And we also have some South Side Blue. Uh, so we've tried to be, support everybody. And the employees have a nice kitchen back here. And you could probably do whatever you wanted to do as, with food in here. This, this is cool. Wait till I show you the kitchen downstairs. You're going you're gonna to love that. And then the ladies all will have a locker where they can lock their purses up and not have to worry. The elevator right over here. And then this is, is kind of a hallway, a uh, wedding area. This is our fourth floor. And the room that I like the best is right here. We call it the hospitality room, but we're going to probably have an employee naming contest to name this room and our community room downstairs. Name it something appropriate for the area. And our furniture in here gets delivered also next week. And um, Charles Covington at Covington Furniture uh, has done the outside, and then he's also done uh, the inside. And then Terry at Schwegman's did our community room downstairs that we'll go down to here in a moment. And see, they all did a great job. Um, 
I can tell you this room is going to be used. The hospital has already reserved it for February 3rd for their doctors to come over here and watch the Super Bowl. So all the doctors at White River will be here Super Bowl partying. Now, the thing I'm most proud about is my garage door. And, and you know, name, name any other bank in Arkansas that's got a garage door on their top floor. So let's go. This is a little warming kitchen that we have. And on a nice day, you could go outside. So, so this will be a real nice area when the weather's nice. Uh, the view out there is spectacular. You can't see it today because of the clouds and the rain. But we have uh, different places, to different seating areas, and we have two fire pits that are in the seating areas. And then you can see the outdoor televisions. And the round speakers, or the round black circle things you see around the sides are speakers. So we've got a sound system so you can watch TV. You know, you don't have to be right close to it to hear it. So um, we're hoping the community can use this area for events that where they want to get outside and see the city. And I don't think it's going to go underused. No, I don't think so. I think it's it'll be it'll be well used and that's what it should be. We yeah. the reason we went out and looked at the Emco Bank is they opened their bank up beyond just a bank and let community come in and, and enjoy it. They even have movies. They show movies in the bank. Not a bad idea. Hmm. All right, let's go, let's go and look at Ashley's office. Hmm. Now, Phil, what are you going to do when, when Ashley and the dynamic duo get separated when Tracy's downtown? We're, we're worried about that. Uh, I would be and, very worried. Yes. Tracy's happy because she gets to move upstairs and have a window of her own in the in the building down downtown. Our, our our marketing team will be up here. This this is Ashley's office right here, and uh, um, I know she's excited about that. Chuck Jones will be right here next to her. And, yeah, in a, in a little conference room here. Yeah. It's really nice, really nice. So we can conference. That's here. right. We can, yeah, we can do our pizza mm. parties. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go. Let's go down to the first floor, and I'll show you our our kitchen. That's second only to the garage door. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, our mechanical area on the first floor. And then we walk through here and we get out to the community room area. Uh, so that door would be, would be locked pretty much all the time. And this would be bathrooms for folks that want to use this area. And there's a door out here that people can come in, uh, park in the parking lot out front of the bank, and then come through this door. And this would be open for baby showers, wedding showers, parties, you know, any, any type of community event that you want. And we wanted to build a kitchen that could handle uh, any type of activity. So here is, a, here is a commercial kitchen inside of a bank, which is a little bit different. But I can promise you we can do, we can do Iron Chef stuff in here. Yeah. And then the uh, community room itself can hold about probably 50 to 60 people uh, comfortably. And we can serve food and everybody can enjoy their time. Lots of thought went into this. Yes, that There's is. a lot of unique stuff all through this bank. We wanted the bank to be more than just a bank building. We wanted it to be something the community could use all the time. Sure. Very active. What was that? What is that? That's an old Citizens Bank box. We would just oh, okay. have it down here to play with it. Yeah. <laughs> Not the old clock. <laughs> yeah. All right, I hear, that, I hear that there's an interest in seeing the cash vault. So yeah. let's go upstairs and do that, oh, yeah. and that'll, that'll conclude the tour. Okay. 
Hmm. So we'll walk back over here by the by the teller line, and the the safety deposit boxes are right. They're going to be in this vault right here. And we'll have about 2,000 safety deposit boxes in here. So they'll be wall-to-wall -wall boxes. And we're moving those over here starting on the 19th. We have a Batesville Police Department and, Sheriff, and Independence County Sheriffs are going to help us. We'll have a police car in front, a police car behind, and then the SWAT team and their SWAT van uh, also there. So we'll be safe. <laughs> Nothing's going to get lost. The safety deposit box. Yeah, well. so what are, the, are the doors for where they can privately view mm -hmm. their own box? Yes. Yes. Well, let's go look at the cash vault. That's even more fun. <laughs> no. Okay, y'all, this is, this is Jeff Mead. And he heads up our IT department. And he has, he's the one that has put all this information technology in this building. Hey, Jeff, <laughs> let's, let's walk in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hi. OK, tell her, tell her line. I like to see all the computers working back here. And then the teller um, work area. Looks like there's lots of stuff stacked in here. And then the cash vault is back in this corner. And you can see there's nothing in here right now, but there's different cash lockers that will be used. And, uh, and a big stack of money will be in there all the time, about $10 million. Well, I thank you for the tour. It's been my pleasure. And our team's pleasure, uh, Micah. Uh, where's Micah at? He's right here. Okay. <laughs> Tracy and Ashley and everybody, um, we enjoyed hosting you. So thank you. Thank you.